you know it is very a uh, controversial when children women men of god you know they don't acquire these things because your minds are limited you don't believe in your father your minds are so narrow i'm looking at a day when you know christian will own big houses big buildings good cars i'm looking forward when children of god you know will just own good things when you ask people whose building is that they'll tell you that building is for woman of god whose car is that they will tell you that car belongs to a powerful woman of god welcome 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 child of god i'm so grateful to have you here today and i hope and trust that you're well child of god and god has kept you today i'm celebrating the gift of life that god has given me and i'm so so grateful child of god just take one second and think this way child of god if god will invoice you this oxygen you're breathing you're breathing a fresh air you're breathing a free oxygen free of charge and you have not paid god for anything child of god you have every reason to thank him because many millions of people right now that are lying in hospital some of them they didn't even make to see this day child of god some of them are paying for this oxygen you're breathing child of god you have every reason to thank god today i want to take a moment and just tell god thank you for the gift of life the fact that you are here watching this message uh today god has enabled you to be here be grateful child of god thank you so much uh, for being here and welcome to the month of october welcome to this beautiful month that god has given us child of god if you're my returning subscriber welcome i'm so grateful uh for your presence here today if you're watching me uh for the first time welcome you've come across uh these messages for the first time welcome to this beautiful channel my name is Ruth. i'm born again i'm a child of god and i'm a strong believer of the word of god so welcome to this space here I share faith-based content, child of God, and I also help women become better version of themselves through the word of God. So welcome this first child of God, and God has a reason uh, for you to be here today to the glory and honor of God. Thank you so much for being here, and without wasting time, I want us to go straight uh, to my message today, the message uh, that God has placed in my spirit spirit today a child of god and i hope that by the end of this message uh your spirit shall be elevated i hope by the end of this message we are going to trust god for big things the glory and honor of god so today we are trusting god for big things child of god i want to teach you how to believe god for big things i want to teach you today how to believe god for big things child of god I've come across so many motivational speakers outside here talking about mindset and talking about how to believe in big things. How you can think about big things, how you can align yourself uh, with big things and then the universe will favor you. But today, child of God, I want to teach you the God's way. I want to teach you how to believe God for big things. So many of us who have been wired maybe because of the backgrounds you have come from and you have been wired you know when you were growing up some of us maybe did not have an opportunity to come across a big amounts of money large amounts of money maybe beautiful things you know i've heard most of you say i've been brought up from a very poor background i've been brought up from a very low low background and you have not had an opportunity to come across beautiful houses beautiful things you know some of you money was a taboo when you're growing up and that thing has stuck in your mind we talk about mindsets 
So when you're growing up, you know, you just uh, know that, you know, money is for other people. You're not entitled to good things. And that has stuck into your mind. You know, when you see beautiful things, you think that that one is not uh, anywhere near you. You're not entitled to them. Because you have been brought up knowing that those things, they're not supposed to come near you. And you have grown with such kind of mentality, child of God. Trust me, today we are going to be delivered from that mindset to the glory and honor of God. Silver and gold belongs to our Father, child of God. Silver and gold belongs to Him. He says in His word, in my Father's house there are so many mansions. So if your Father has so many mansions, if silver and gold belongs to your Father, you as a child of God, as a descendant of Abraham, you are entitled to these things, child of God. You are entitled to good things. You are entitled to beautiful houses. You are entitled to beautiful cars. You are entitled to a good life. You are entitled to good health. You are entitled to all these things, child of God. But because of your mindset and what you think, child of God, it has put you in a cocoon and you feel like you're not entitled to these things. And it's so unfortunate, some of you, you are into religions that tell you these things are sinful. They tell you these things are sin. You're not supposed to dress well. Some religions tell you if you own a car, that's a sin. If you own a good house, that's a sin. Child of God, may you be delivered today to the glory and honor of God. May God deliver you today. In the book of 2 Chronicles, uh, chapter 20, uh, if you have the word of God, you do kindly open uh, the book of 2 Chronicles, uh, chapter 20. I want to show you something in the word of God. Uh, the word of God says, So they rose early in the morning, and they went into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went out, the Hoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. The word of God clearly says here, if you believe in the word of God, then you shall be established. If you believe in him, then you shall be established. And he goes further saying, if you believe in his prophets, you shall prosper. You shall prosper here on earth if you go ahead to believe in his prophets. May the name of God be glorified. Child of God, it's important for you to understand that God has a very good plan for you. A good plan for you to prosper you and not to harm you and to give you a good future. To give you a good future. That is the plan of God upon your life. That is what God has in plan for you. He even goes ahead in the book of Matthew 6, 25. The word of God says clearly, the word of God is clear. Seek the kingdom of God first and everything else you desire shall be added unto you. You know, this verse has been really been underrated. Seeking first his kingdom and everything else, everything else, shall be added add to you and that everything else include good health include good life include good houses include good clothes include a beautiful life generation you know includes all that but you can only have that child of god if you focus on seeking the word of god so it's important for you to understand god has a good plan for us it's important for you to understand that his plan for you and me is to have a good future. His plan for you and me is to prosper. God delights in our prosperity. God delights when his children prosper. I was listening to the man of God the other day online and I listened to him carefully. And he was trying to teach people how to attract wealth 
and how to pray if you want to acquire houses. Actually, he was giving his testimony of how he acquired multiple houses here on earth. And he clearly said, you know, it is very uh, controversial when children, women, men of God, you know, they don't acquire these things because your minds are limited. You don't believe in your father. Your minds are so narrow. You know, I'm looking at a day when, you know, Christian will own big houses, big buildings, good cars. I'm looking forward when children of God, you know, will just own good things. When you ask people, whose building is that? They'll tell you that building is for woman of God. Whose car is that? They will tell you that car belongs to a powerful woman of God. And it's so unfortunate right now when children and men of God own such kind of things that stigmatized. When non-believers live flamboyant and life, you know, this beautiful, uh, when they live in this beautiful house, they're not stigmatized. But children of God, women of God, when they start living a good life in society, judge us very, very harshly. May God deliver us today, child of God. Today we are believing in our Father who owns silver and gold. Today we are believing in the superpower who is the author and the founder of all these things. All these things belong to our Father. And it's our right, it's our covenant right, child of God, to be a partaker, to be a partaker of all these things, child of God. May God deliver us today in the name of God. My prayer to you today is that may you and me be delivered today to the glory and honor of God. Child of God, in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 32, verse 27, the word of God say, I behold, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Clearly, there's nothing that is too hard for God. We serve an extraordinary God. We serve a God who is able to do more exceedingly, Ephesians 3.20, to do more exceedingly, abundantly, more than you expect. There is nothing too hard for your God. There is nothing actually he can't do. God is able to break protocols for you. If non-believers are able to believe uh, for big things and big things happen to them, what more of, of a child of God, a believer, a woman of God, a man of God? God is able to move mountains for you, child of God. God is able to give you bigger things. You know, trusting God for imaginable things. Trusting God for things that you believe they cannot come to existence. God is able to do that. God is able to give you mansions. God is able to give you silver and gold. Your work is just to believe in God, child of God. Your work actually is just to believe in him. How and when, you know, and how he's going to do it, that is too much work. Don't you think it's too much work? Just sitting there overthinking and wondering how God is going to do it. If you can believe in magicians, if you can believe in sorcerers, why don't you believe in God, the superpower, the creator of all these things? He's able to do more exceedingly, more than you can imagine. The things you imagine, God is able to do that for you. So it's a high time as children of God. The word of God says we are peculiar people. We are different. It's a high time we start believing God for bigger things. You know, when you start believing God for bigger things and trusting him uh, for bigger things, you know, it is an honor uh, for God. God is honored when children of God start believing in bigger things. Because, you know, it shows that you trust him. You trust that he's able to take you overseas. He's able to give you that passport. He's able to give you that house. He's able to give you money to a settlement. He's able to give you children. He's able to give you a spouse. And he's able to give you a good relationship. He delights in that. God gets excited when children of God, when you start believing him for bigger things. And you know what he does? He makes sure those things come to pass. For his name to be glorified. 
He makes sure he's glorified in you, child of God. He makes sure he brings those things into existence for his name to be glorified. I get so excited and motivated when I start talking about having faith in God. Just believing in the seen things, just believing in the known things. You know, just believing, you know, trusting the driver, not even understanding how you're going to reach that destination, but just believing in him, believing in the superpower. And trust me, they come into existence. That is the power of God. So today I want you to start believing God for bigger things. I want you to start believing God uh, for extraordinary things, child of God. The word of God says, the book of Matthew 7, 7, Ask God and shall be given unto you. Ask God and shall be given unto you. Imagine your work is just to ask him. And the word of God says in James 4, 2, You have not because you ask not. Many destinies have been compromised because you don't ask God what you want from him. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. You don't ask God what you want. You don't ask him. That's why you don't have. You have not because you ask not. Asking God the things you want him to do for you in prayer. In prayer and supplication, let your request be known to him. Are you asking God in prayer or your work is just to complain? Are you asking God in prayer? Are you bringing everything to him in supplication and in prayer? Are you talking to God? Are you having a relationship with God, child of God? You know, or are you just sitting there complaining and murmuring? God won't answer murmuring prayers. God won't answer people who are complaining. God won't answer people who are not grateful. God won't answer you, child of God. God will not answer complaining heart. When you wake up in the morning, your work is just murmuring, complaining. I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit will flee from that environment. You cannot keep on complaining and murmuring, and you want God to bless you with big things. It's a high time for you. You start aligning yourself with the Word of God, and aligning yourself with big things. The word of God says, as a man thinketh, and so he is. I'm going to put for you that verse here. Whatever you think, and so you are. As a man thinketh, and so he is. If you think of poverty, then you'll remain in poverty. But if you think of big things, beautiful things, then somehow the favor of God just start locating you. There is power in positive thinking, there is power in aligning yourself with the word of God, and there is power in also what you think, child of God. There is power in that. There is power in having faith in God and believing that God is able to do this. God is able to heal me. God is able to, you know, to heal my body. This is powerful, child of God. It reminds me of how I've been trusting God for healing. It reminds me of how I've been trusting God for good health. And God just delivered of what I asked him for. God delivered the same thing I asked him. It reminded me of Jabez's prayer. Jabez prayed and asked God, God, may you bless me. God, may you bless me and bless everything that concerns me. That was my prayer. And God answered me. God gave me good health. God healed me and God restored my health. This is the same thing. What are you believing God for today? What are you trusting God for today, child of God? Are you trusting God for healing? Healing is just in the word of God. What are you believing God for? What are you believing? Are you believing God for a good job? Are you believing God for a husband? Are you believing God for a wife? Are you believing God for a child? What are you believing God for today, child of God? Do you desire to drive a good car? Do you desire to stay in a good house? You know, do you desire marital settlement? I don't know what you are believing God for. God is able to do more exceedingly, abundantly, above what you imagine, child of God. There's nothing too hard for God. He's able to do that. So it's a high time as a child of God, you start believing God for bigger things. Believe God for extraordinary things. Believe God 
for beautiful things. Some of you have been wired to believe that if God blesses you with a beautiful house today, you shouldn't trust God for another good house again. In my father's house, there are so many mansions. If God blesses you with a breakthrough today, trust me, believe God for another breakthrough. He's not tired with you. Believe God for another one, another one. That is not being ungrateful. Some of you will say, oh, you are ungrateful. No, you are grateful for this miracle today. You are grateful for this breakthrough today. But trust me, God is able to do more. What is more? Then I have to believe for more. I have to believe for extra. I have to believe for even better, better, better houses. If God blesses you with a piece of land today, then let me tell you one thing. The secret is believe God for another one. Believe God for another one. Believe God. Purchase all those houses. You can have as many title deeds as you feel like child of God. You can have as many houses. You can drive as many cars as you want, child of God. Your work is just to believe and trust in God. Believe him for bigger things. And trust me, God will do as the word of God says. God will do as he says. He's not a man that he should lie. So today, child of God, if you're watching me right now, I want you to start believing God for big things. May the spirit of poverty leave you right now. May the spirit of lack, stagnation, leave you right now. May God change your mindset right now to the glory and honor of God. May that spirit leave your life today. Poverty mentality. May it leave you right now. The spirit of lack. May it leave you right now, child of God. May you start believing God for bigger things today. If you have been a victim of thinking poverty, thinking that you cannot own that house, child of God, may you start speaking positivity. Think of bigger things because he's your father. He owes everything. He's your father. You know, he owes everything. So you are entitled to it. Believe God for bigger things. And trust me, when you start changing your mindset, when your mindset shift, somehow you're going to attract favor from God. The day you choose to believe that will be a day. I've always shared on this platform. Things are available. Good things are just available for you today. But you're the one who have chosen not to believe in God today. But the day you choose, even if you choose to believe God today, trust me, that miracle you're waiting for, God will deliver it to you today, right now, to the glory and honor of God. So start believing God. Start trusting God. Develop a lifestyle of believing in God. Develop a lifestyle of partnering with God. Develop a lifestyle of trusting God. Develop a lifestyle of aligning yourself with greatness. Develop that lifestyle, child of God, and you'll just see the favor of God locating you every day to the glory and honor of God. Child of God, it's my prayer that today may good things locate you as you start believing in God, as you start aligning yourself with the word of God. May good things locate you, child of God. May good things come your way. You know, may God decorate your life. May God fulfill your heart desires. May God give you good health so that when good things start locating you, child of God, may you have the energy to enjoy those good things. Who doesn't want a good life? When you start uh, 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 encountering breakthroughs from God today, may God give you good health. May you live in abundance, prosperity, and may you enjoy that with good health to the glory of and horn of God, child of God. I've shared on this platform before. I am a living testimony. Once I discovered everything is in the word of God, once I discovered the word of God, once I discovered positive thinking, once I discovered aligning myself with the word of God, my life changed completely. And I give him all the glory. I give him all the glory, child of God. So it's a high time for you to start aligning yourself with the word of God. Let none believers not look at us and ask, start asking themselves, uh, do they really believe in God? Let us shine. We are the salt of the world. Let us shine. 
and let the glory of God be seen into us. Let us be a testament to the world, child of God, to the glory and honor of God. It's a high time. As children of God, you start believing in your father. It's a high time you start believing in bigger things. It's a high time you start believing in the superpower. It's a high time you start declaring powerful words over your life. It's a high time you believe in the superpower and believe God for bigger things, child of God. Believe God for bigger things and child of God, trust me, whatever you desire, whatever you want from God, God will deliver it to you to the glory and honor of God. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that this message has been impactful to you and I'm praying that may God deliver you today to the glory and honor of God. Kindly share this message to your network. When you share and share and you like this video, the YouTube algorithm will favor this video and this message will reach as many people as possible to the glory and honor of God. Thank you so much for being here. And child of God, I'm going to see you next time in our next message. And goodbye for now. God bless you.